Galway City is the undisputed bohemian capital of Ireland, so it's always puzzled me why there aren't more vegetarian restaurants. As I'm recording this in the summer of 2019, there are no vegan restaurants in the city, although curiously, this fabulous falafel joint, the Gourmet Offensive, sells no dairy products apart from halloumi. This space has been many eateries over the years I've been visiting and living in Galway, and the Gourmet Offensive is the best by far. The seitan shawarma is so tender and flavorful, and the salads come loaded with delicious fresh ingredients. Galway has another terrific vegetarian cafe called The Lighthouse, where we had very tasty full vegan breakfast plates. We were too full for dessert, but check out this scrumptious looking array. The staff at both these eateries are quite friendly, and the food is carefully prepared and very satisfying. So even if the city of my heart doesn't have any all vegan restaurants yet, at least it's got these two quality spots. Quick shout out here to Evergreen, a fabulous health food store with several locations in County Galway. They have the best selection of vegan snacks. Now on to the Iron Islands. Steve and I were a little worried about our dining options on Inishmore, and if you look at the menu on Joe Waddy's website, you'd be worrying too. But fortunately, they keep a bag of quinoa cakes in the freezer for us vegan travelers. We went there two nights in a row and had the quinoa cakes with salad and roasted vegetables, and we were way more satisfied than we expected to be. Yes, ideally, I've made it to another eatery on the second night, but what can I say? We were tired and sunburned after biking around the island all day. I have saved the best for last. Did you know there's now a vegan cafe on Inishir, the smallest of the three Aran Islands? This island only has a population of a little over 200 people, and yet there is a vegan tea room with marvelous home baking. It sounds too good to be true, but it's not. This cafe is called Blahnagrania, which means sunflower in Irish. I hope I didn't mess up the pronunciation too much. My Irish is very rusty. Blahnagrania is the reason I decided to come back to Inishir after 19 years, and it was as wonderful as I'd hoped it would be. I've had a lot of delicious vegan carrot cake over the years, so when I say Rebecca's is the best I've ever had, that is no idle praise. We got to have a nice long chat with Rebecca and her partner, Finnan. Rebecca runs the cafe, and Finnan runs the gift shop on the other side of the building. How cool is this? They're phasing out wool goods, and local hand knitters are now knitting new stock using acrylic yarn. They're wonderful people, and if you make it to this part of the world, I hope you'll come have lunch in their wonderful cafe. While Blotnagrania isn't open for dinner, Rebecca told us the hotel pub keeps vegan pizzas and burgers in the freezer, so we were good to go here too. If you're enjoying these vegan Ireland videos and are planning to visit Ireland in the foreseeable future, may I suggest you purchase a copy of my guidebook? You'll find the buy links in the video notes. If you have any restaurant recommendations to share, I would love to hear them. Please leave me a comment below this video. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the last Vegan Ireland video in this series. This is our tour dog. He led us up to O'Brien's castle. Good job, boy.